Arizona day one. Uh, this is a rifle coos deer hunt. It's still cold. Don't like archery coos deer hunting. But evidently seeing fewer deer. So far we've seen a group of muleys. No buck that I could see, although we're not targeting them. And uh, one whitetail off in the distance. Had a suspicious little walk to him. I think I'll, uh, or we'll try to get a little closer over there at some point. Let's see what we got. Saw a nice buck this morning. Uh, I think, I you know he's tall enough and wide enough. I, I, uh, was jockeying around trying to get everything else situated and get a really good solid look at him. <clears throat> he went around the bridge top. We're, uh, we're going to work our way, right? Get up on this knob about halfway up the mountain, the glass on the side that I think he went into, and hopefully find him bedded down or still on his feet feeding. Maybe get a better look at him, maybe work into position. Get a shot. It's super windy. Um, I'd hate to take a shot much more than 250 or so. Just not sure what the wind would would do. Well, we came around the mountain, try to find that buck again, and uh, been here what a little over an hour, probably maybe two. Here. Yeah, it's three. Yeah. Three hours. The time flies by when you're having fun. You know, this whole time we've been seeing does here and there. Finally, finally got an eyeball in that buck. He, he's right on the ridge top, so he keeps going back and forth. Um, puts him at about 300. If, uh, he comes back on our side, gives me a shot. He's not huge, but he's a he's a decent little eight point. With only uh, four days of hunting, I think uh, I'll take it. Broadside, he just turned his head back, looking at his back, licking his back. <laughs> Missed. He didn't even flinch. He's just standing there, he's kind of looking back this way. shot over him. Oh. Moving down to the left. down feeding again. Hit him. 
You hit him. Those are just warm ups. Or wrong distance. Yeah. Well, there it is. Low eight pointer. Kind of what we thought. Um, to be honest with you, I thought Warren Weizig is quite a bit bigger than this, but these are a tiny animal. So, um, beautiful animal. And uh, the best tasting deer meat there is. Um, I do it all over. A uh, shot. Three times to practice, one for real. No, um, I ranged him at like 294. So set my sight, yeah, set my scope, cracked two rounds off, and Corey said, I think you're, you're above him. Uh, re ranged him at 260 this time. So I I don't know, I guess in the moment probably you know, pulled the trigger on the uh, range finder a little far back. Hit 290, and then uh, once I adjusted, I clobbered him right in the shoulder, pretty much right where I was, I was aiming. So I was aiming a little farther to the right, but we had a little, little bit of wind coming down the hill. So I wouldn't be surprised if it carried me over a little bit. But, um, it wasn't a perfect shot. He came over to him, and he jumped up and ran a couple times. But uh, in the end, he's down. Here he is. Some delicious coos deer meat, and super stoked. And, Happy I got it done here in AZ. Don't you make it freaking spray. You ran that by you, dummy. There we go. That's it for Magic Peace, huh? We're live. We're live in Arizona. Day two for rifle coos deer hunt. It's uh, late in the afternoon, almost evening time, and we got up to a spot at the end of this road and blasting up into these big canyons. And Shannon spotted a buck, and uh, when he came over to tell me where it was at, we lost the buck, so we geared up. We're going to climb up into this canyon and see if we can't find him before dark. If we do, we'll be in a little better vantage point to shoot him anyways, because from here we're about 600 yards to where we think he was, um, which is doable, but, you know, not ideal. So we're going to try to hunt our way up and get a little closer, and we can't cut the distance down and hopefully refine him before we lose all of our daylight and maybe get a shot at him.
just got back down to the truck. We, uh, as you might see if this video ever makes it to video, and that buck came out with this group of does that we found. We finally relocated the buck, and I had him at 225 across the canyon, quartered away pretty hard, and I just didn't have a good a good rest. You know, I had a, had a good clean shot even though he was quartered away. Remember on these deer though, I mean you're gonna have such a small window to shoot. Your your kill zone's pretty small, so when I when I had a bit of movement, I just didn't feel comfortable with the shot. Eventually, he didn't like what he was smelling with those does, so he just went over the back side of the hill. So we sat and just kept glassing the hillside, and we saw, I spotted another doe that came out through a saddle down below where he was at, originally, on top of the knob. And sure enough, five minutes later after she came out, he came ripping through there. And I had him stopped at 385 feeding on a bush, which would have given me the opportunity to take a shot. But by the time I got reset up, he was already back on that doe's trail, and he was moving. Other than one time that he stopped to feed, he was booking. So it's like December 4th, and these deer aren't supposed to be rutting yet, but there's something going on because he was definitely hot on some does today. But uh, it's just unfortunate, but it's you know, fortunate I didn't take a bad shot. So I'm happy that we don't have a wounded deer over there in the dark, and uh, disappointed that I don't have a deer on the ground. So either way. We'll be back at it tomorrow. You find him? I got him. You still see him? I do. Well, I see a deer. Huh? I see a deer. Yeah, I see him. This is either going to have to be right on the money or I'm going to hit something right in front of him. You got to be shooting me. Uh. I hit him. I'm out of rounds. He's coming. Keep an eye on him. Because I gotta get more ammo. What's he doing? I stopped right before he disappeared. You lost him? No, no, I see his horn. I got him in the camera. Can you tell it's him? Yeah, yeah, I can see his horns oh, right here. I can here. see his horns now, yeah. His head's still up. Yep. You could go over there. Hmm? You could just get over there. Good. I would assume that from the hillside above, I would have a shot at him. Yeah, for sure. Looking at the way he's tucked down in there. Yeah, Arizona day three. Uh, got to one of our spot we had seen a bunch of deer yesterday. Um, had seen a few does. Corey had to use the restroom. Uh, so I manned the glass. Then uh, he got back. I had to use the restroom. As my was walking back. Shot. Boogie down there. Got everything set up, and then you'll see what's left on the video. But uh, he's working his way over to it. Well, I wasn't watching. Um, I'm recording it though. This whole dike there, and I'll uh, rewind this and see if I can see him move. All right, I did see him. He got up. He went to your right a little bit, maybe 10 yards, and then slightly towards 
me and then he disappeared he wasn't he wasn't doing well I think he went back down so straight down from where you are is the last place that I saw him This is the uh, second buck of our 2020 ASP coos deer hunt. Um, found this buck this morning when Shannon was talking to John Crapper off in the distance. And unfortunately, it didn't really give me a lot of time to make a decision on wait for him or not, because he was moving relatively quick, kind of heading towards this big wash that we've been seeing a lot of deer move in and out of. So I had to make the executive decision, just go ahead and shoot. And I took a shot and he dropped instantly. Um, took a second shot, he got back up and he was flopping around, took a second shot and missed. He, I, I yarded him, arranged him at 434 yards. So it was a decent little poke across this, this big wash that we're at here. And, uh, and he bedded down and was able to get a third shot in on him and uh, hit him in the front left shoulder. He didn't go very far from there, but he still wasn't, wasn't dead yet, which was kind of weird. So snuck all the way around and came in above him and bumped him out of his bed and he was hobbling down the hill and I was able to put one through the neck here and finish him off. So he's uh, it's gonna be a tasty little critter. He's a nice coos buck. This is probably the biggest buck that we've seen in the last couple days that we've been down here hunting, but a lot of, a lot of activity, a lot of animals moving around, tons of mule deer. It's been kind of a fun hunt. Um, Shannon killed a buck on that first day. We spent yesterday, almost had an opportunity on another buck and didn't get to him and never made it back out to him again today. We got this one down, so ASP is tagged out in AZ. We're gonna get this guy worked up and get out of here. Go home. ASP over and out. <laughs>